How's it going guys? Angus here from Maker's Muse. So I've got an interesting package that just came in the mail uh, about a month ago, maybe three weeks ago. Will from CN Direct got in touch with me and he said, hey Angus, uh, I want you to do a video on products from our store. Here's 25 bucks worth of credit. Buy something interesting. So um, CN Direct, you can buy pretty much anything. It's all straight from China, from electronics to lingerie to other things. I don't even remember what I got in this package, to be honest. <laughs> um, and I hope it's nothing embarrassing. So let's, let's whip it open and see what's inside. Also, as a side note, I found a supplier for the legit Red Bull from Thailand, which is awesome. So let's crack that open and get started. All right, so as I mentioned, I've completely forgotten what's in here. But I tried to make up, if I recall, a range of products that I could use for future 3D printing projects, which is interesting because there's no real 3D printing products on CN Direct. So, let's see what we got. Number one, pair of calipers. These are extremely low cost calipers, which have, uh, I think, fiber loaded plastic uh, injection molded tips. But if you're running a hackerspace or something, uh, yeah, you could get like 10 of these. I think they were like $4 each. I'll double check. Everything that I find in here will be in the description, by the way, that you can go back to see and direct and find it. Um, I think these were like four bucks. So if that's really cheap and perfectly good enough uh, tolerances and accuracy for 3D printing and 3D design purposes at low end. So that's cool. Got the battery, really light as well. Awesome. Let's, let's uh, put that aside the battery out. Oh, it's already got a battery, so it comes with a spare battery. Awesome. <laughs> Should have just taken the pull tab out. Uh, okay, so I'll pop the battery out, pull tab out, battery back in. Well, it's on zero, which is a good start. Cool. Well, that seems repeatable enough to me. Let's sort of measure something. What's a known? What's a known thickness? Let's grab some filament. Let's. Uh, there we go. Let's grab a fabricator mini wisp of filament and see. Uh, 1.7. So. It only has one decimal point, but perfectly good enough for most of you guys getting started and you don't have to waste you know, 50 bucks on a pair of calipers. So that's pretty cool. Very happy with that one. And what else we got? Oh, also, always turn your calipers off. Not all of them have auto off functions and I've just gone through so many batteries by leaving my calipers on. Uh, what's this? Memory card case. Cool, actually that's quite, that's quite heavy. Um, I keep losing my memory cards. I keep misplacing them. Um, I use a DSLR, which is this one, I'm using my iPhone for here. I'm using my Surface tablet here, which I do my editing on to record sound. But I, I have quite a few 16 gig micro SD cards. And nice. This is actually much nicer than I expected. It's heavy, it's got a waterproof seal. Uh, it's rubberized, so that's obviously how it holds it in place. It's got little micro SD holders. Um, XD. It's obviously kind of modular so you can fit different things in. So this would be good for your 3D printing SD cards, like the, the Wanhao i3 and the, the Cocoon Create uses micro SD cards if you've got a Melzi board. So you can store your micro SD cards in there. That's actually quite happy with that. Cool, all right. I'll be putting that one to use. What else we got? That's a Red Bull. Gaming mouse. Yes, okay. I'm a massive gamer and I use a Logitech G502, uh, which is the Proteus Core optical mouse. Um, highest DPI in any optical mouse in the world. At, I believe it was at the time, uh, but also quite expensive. So I thought, what the hell, let's find a really cheap mouse on CN Direct, uh, which has multiple buttons for gaming. So. 
Like for example, you, if you're playing um, various games, you need sort of macro buttons. So this has the alt buttons there. Um, so not really much to do with 3D printing, although you could 3D print a case for it. So you could get a cheap mouse and modify it with a 3D printed case, which is not a bad idea. Uh, but yeah, I'll be testing that one out later. Feels good, nice rubberized grip. Put that one to one side. What else we got? Ah uh, yes, so I did get some electronic bits, some components. So this is a voltmeter, very, very handy. So I'm quite interested to see how accurate these power supplies are in these printers. Um, you know, some machines are 24 volts, some machines are 12 volts, but I like to see actually what the output is. And I have a really interesting project coming up in a while, not quite, not, not soon, but in a while that I'll be using this one for, um, which is gonna be pretty interesting. I'm gonna try to get on Hackaday again for that one. <laughs> so that's that, uh, and there's whatever this is. It's pink. Um, oh, it's an MP3 player. That's right. It was like a $1 MP3 player. No way. It even has a battery in it. It wasn't a dollar, but it was very cheap. That's cool. Clearly, there's got to be some hacking projects you can do with this. That's awesome. And it's pink. I love pink. You know, I've got. Got my pink e son. <laughs> so, you know, I only had 25 US to spend. There's a lot of stuff in here. You can get a lot of stuff on there. And we've got one thing left. And this is, ah, uh, yes, another electronics component. I'll just um, whip him out. They do have a lot of Arduino stuff, which is nice. And this one really caught my attention. So, there you go. So this is a, if I can see it with the, the iPhone, the iPhone's still on, yes. See it with the iPhone. This is a color temperature uh, sensor. So it has LEDs that illuminate a surface and it feeds back into the sensor and it will tell you what color something is. You know, it'll tell you if it's red or green or blue, um, I believe. And you can feed that, that data back into your robot or you know, whatever you're building to understand colors around itself. So this was really cheap. Um, and yeah, they've used a bit of flux there, um, but a little bit of solvent, a little bit of acetone, not acetone, sorry, um, uh, methylated spirits would get that right off. Uh, and it's been through the wars. Um, the you know, problem with cheap, cheap shipping from China is um, often things get mis mishandled. Um, but yeah, this is just a little header that straighten that up pretty easy. Cool, so I'm gonna to try to use that in a project as well. So there you have it guys, just a couple of really interesting things from CN Direct. Uh, again, thanks to Will for sending them through. Uh, I'm gonna do some projects coming up using some of this stuff. Some of it is for personal use, like the SD case. That is really handy for me, so I don't keep losing my SD cards. Um, but I also have this idea in the back of my head, and I'm not sure if it's gonna, um, not, for, not sure it's gonna be used in the future video, but this idea of making like a $500 hacker space. So like the cheapest hacker space you can do, like 500 bucks, it had, probably had to be 500 bucks US because the Australian dollar is pretty low. But you know, start a hacker space with a 3D printer, a computer, the basic tools you need to build cool things. And I reckon it's possible now. I reckon it's possible with something like the Fabricator Mini um, and calipers like this, uh, a very cheap secondhand, oh, that's cool, auto turns on, nice. Um, and a very cheap secondhand computer. And yeah, I, I'm, it's in the back of my head. If you guys have any suggestions down below, definitely let me know. But I think that would be a really cool project to do. So thanks for watching guys. If you found this video interesting, definitely let me know. And I'm gonna put all the links for these products in the description. Uh, as a disclaimer, uh, CN Direct didn't pay me anything. They just said, here's 25 bucks to grab stuff from my store and do a video on which I have done, and I'm gonna be doing some cool projects with these parts in the future. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. I do heaps of 3D printing and also soon to be electronics projects here on Maker's Muse. And just a side note, our internet is currently down because Telstra cut it off instead of installing the cable they were meant to do. So the next few videos I'm gonna be uploading via my personal 4G on my phone, which is really expensive in Australia. And I'm doing that because I love you guys. So I'll see you again very shortly here on Maker's Muse. Catch you later.